Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing. Today's episode is gonna be on the shuffle step. Some people might call it a V step, but more specifically, I'm gonna call this an angled shuffle step. And someone who does this the best is Vesel Lomachenko. And the way he sets it up is so beautiful. The way he moves his feet and the way he sets up that angle. And I'm gonna show you how he does it and the different ways that I do it. But it works best once you have your opponent shelled. Once you have your opponent shells, you create these angles to come around your opponent. Once you come around your opponent and you create these different angles, their defense become compromised and this way you can attack on angles that your opponent can't defend and this is why someone like Vasyl Lomachenko could have a lot of good knockouts to his career. It's something that you've seen a lot of people talk about because we've seen him so successful. I'm going to break it down very minimal to show you how to put it into your bigger system. The basis of the shuffle step is understanding footwork and foot control and that's the hardest part of it. We've always learned to step with our front foot when we walk, but the shuffle step you actually have to control with the back foot. So when I shuffle step, my back foot comes forward and I'm able to create my angle or my power and my rotation with the back foot moving forward. Okay, So back foot comes forward, that's one shuffle step. Or again, some people might call it the V. Uh, v step, V stance, whatever you want to call it. But the issue now, going to the, if I'm an orthodox fighter, going to my left is a lot easier because my feet are already in that position. All I need to do is move my heel to the outside of my partner. Now from here, I have good rotation and power. Now the issue is with a lot of people is going the other way. And this is where that neutral stance get, becomes really important where you have to be able to throw your setup combos to end up in almost this neutral stance position because from here, now you can angle off and shuffle. Someone like Lomachenko uses this a lot. You'll see him even with his shadow boxing and the way he plays, he uses his lead hand to mask that step. You, if I just go up to an opponent and I just walk into the step, he knows something is happening, so he's just gonna exit. All he has to do is back up in that direction and I lost my shuffle step. So what Lamachenko and a lot of good shuffle steppers do is they'll mask their punches. As they mask that punch, here comes that foot, all of a sudden I'm angling and I've created my angle and attack. So the basis to get this is just follow on a line. I'll even use my, my neutral stance, my feet are side by side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shuffle one way and I'm gonna turn my shoulder. You see when I go to my left, my left shoulder is in front of me. Now when I shoot to the right, I get my other side in front of me. Why do I do this? A lot of people might do this, but look, I'm square, boom, I'm gonna eat straight shot. You need to stay defensive off that shoulder. What it also does is when I'm over in this position, I have now rotation in my body to get good power, okay? So from here, boom, I throw the uppercut. Here, I can go uppercut or hook. But you can see, I'm always loading up my body. So you have to understand to use your body. Boom, even if I just rotate this way, I see my feet, and then from this position I turn, I'm here. I'm here, here, here. So this is a simple warm-up drill, just to get your body moving with your shoulders. Your feet have to move with your shoulders, okay? I'm gonna bring in Tariq, and I'm gonna show you how to do it on an opponent. The key to this, and anytime you do this in a fight or in any situation, you have to have your opponent to shell up. If your opponent's moving a lot, say he's moving his dance, as soon as I shuffle step this way, he's gonna move, okay? So he's just trying to help me, but react to how you would in a fight. If I went here, I'm gone. He's gone at that point. So I need to shell him up. How am I gonna shell him up? With a combination. So I'll sit here, I shell him. Now from here, boom, my right hand. All of a sudden, I shuffle off, boom, I get my power shot. That's how the shuffle is worked most effectively once I shell him up. If he's moving, it's not gonna work well. I have to use my pressure, get him against the ropes. Another good opportunity to get it. Okay, so let's clean this up now. Remember, it's an angled shuffle step. I wanna get close to my opponent. I don't wanna shuffle here because then I have no room to get my rotation and my power. So to go to my outside, the easy side, if you're an orthodox fighter southpaw, the easy side is going to be going to your, to your right. So from this position, it's easiest to practice with the right hand. So when I shoot my right hand, okay, that loads up the shoulder. As this shoulder comes back, 
my feet move towards the shuffle. So here, as this comes back, my feet shuffle and I get my other shoulder in front. Now from here, I have my rotation to punch right down the guard. Uppercuts and hooks are one of the best. Even if you practice here, touch, touch, touch. See, you're using the body. From this position, once my right shoulder touches, I can come off and use my footwork. So remember, the shoulders and the feet have to work together. How ridiculous would it to be to get into this punching power and then I stay here? You got no power to punch, okay? So again, if you look at my angle this way, here, I shoot. If I stay here, I got no rotation, no power. Watch the difference, boom, I'm here. Bang! Now I got full rotation from my core, my hips, my legs. That's how you put someone out, okay? Now, let's go the other way. A little bit more tricky. Again, as the, the explanation before, I use my lead hand to set it up. So, let's try it. So I can pump my jab, any straight punch. As I jab, this foot stepping out. Back foot first, okay? Back foot needs to create the angle. You could create it in a switch stance, so I can go into a slight southpaw, or I can go into neutral. You don't have to worry about it so much. So I'm playing, I'm playing. Now from here, my left side's in front of me. Now I want my right shoulder in front of me. Now, left shoulder in front of me, okay? Shoulder and feet moving. Let's pick that up with some speed. Okay, then I could alternate and go different direction. And you can see, sometimes I double shuffle, double shift. So I'll come here, boom. I'll shoot one, I don't like it again. I keep going, I keep taking the angle. That's as you get more experience. So Tariq and I are just gonna go one each, back and forth. If you want, you can say go one left, one right. I go one left, one right. However you wanna do it as a coach. So let's flow with it. Boom. Okay, changing your different setups. See, using feints to get my shoulders to go to the other side. Boom, boom. Okay, the other beauty of this, you can see me using hand frames. If you watched the video the other day, the hand frame is beautiful off of this. So I could shoot, go into a hand frame, and shoot again. So make sure you watch last week's video in order to help you with it. Same thing, if I'm coming in this way, look, I use a hand frame to keep them pinned, and now I can shoot my punches. So hand frames work really well with this type of shuffle step as well. Okay, last one for Tariq. Good. Let's get some speed here. Let's go. Come on. Give me one more. The shuffle step is really good at getting on the inside, creating those angles. We've seen one of the best pound for pound boxers in the world use it and use it effectively. And in order to use it effectively, you have to really get your opponent to shell. So find different ways to shell them, whether it's with a feint, whether it's with punches, then that's when you wanna work that angle shuffle to get around. The ultimate position in any martial arts, whether you're wrestling or striking, is the back of your opponent. So if you can create those angles, take the back, you can create so many different angles, offenses, and basically shut down the defense of your opponent to get those power shots and to get those great knockouts, especially with your punches. If you're liking all the gear that I'm wearing in these videos, all you have to do is head over to bazookasquad.com to pick up your own. It helps support the channel and it helps support the Bazooka brand. So thanks everyone for the continued support and we'll see you next week.